series erupts as the players make their way out of the tunnel. We are listening as Barrow take on Macclesfield. The lineups are as followed for the Bluebirds in goal number one, Stuart Moore, number 21, Jack Bartram, number 11, Bradley Barris, number six, Musa Diara makes a return from injury for the Bluebirds today with Paul Bignot and Liam Hughes completing the back line. A midfield of Asa Hall, Ben Senti Gomez and Chris Clements with that hat-trick hero, Adi Youssef, continuing up front with last season's top scorer, Byron Harrison. Substitutes for Barrow, a very attacking-minded substitute bench for the Bluebirds. 12, Joel Dixon, Jordan White, Harry Paniatu and Grant Hall, three strikers. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. Brilliant minute silence observed there by the crowd in attendance here at Hulker Street. Underway here, so Barrow attacking the Hulker Street end of the ground in the first half and already have the ball in the middle with Clements. Clements rolls it out to Big Knot. Big Knot at the back here for Barrow. Sends the ball forward. Byron Harrison now with an opportunity. Rolls it into the box. And Yusuf with a shot and goal, but the flag's off anyway as the keeper makes a save. We're almost seeing that connection right at the start of the game. Yeah, they linked really well against Oldshot, didn't they? Every time, every opportunity, they were trying to make a run. And Barrow uh, again, though. Gomez, Harrison making a run this time, and Gomez has a look for him. Takes a shot of goal. And it's turned round past the post. Yeah, again, very, very positive. Gomez, uh, you know, loads of energy getting himself forward. And Flick on there by Youssef, shot on goal by Gomez from the edge of the area, taken well by Jalal in the Macclesfield goal. Once again, Macclesfield get the ball away. Makes a hole flicking it on, but no one to flick it on to. Now Macclesfield trying to come away with the ball, but running into trouble. Ball through the middle, Adi Youssef now in the box here for Barrow. Adi Youssef right across the face of goal and just wide. What an opportunity that was. Yeah, he should have scored. It, uh, good, good work there from Mesa Hall. He won the initial header and uh, the second ball bounced it onto the Ma uh, Macclesfield player, but he stuck a long left leg out, won the ball, played it forward straight away. It will be another throw in, though, to the Bluebirds. Brilliant spell of pressure here from Barrow. Can they get an opportunity to get a shot on goal against a goalkeeper who is struggling? Into the box it goes from Bartram. Youssef now. Tries to turn his man, in the end he does, gets a shot in, but not on target. It's a goal kick. I think, I think for a split second there, Youssef thought he had um, more time on the ball than he did, and he, he stabbed his leg at it, but unfortunately it was well wide. Now Bartram sends it forward, picked up by Danny Whittaker on the halfway line for Macclesfield. Fitzpatrick rolls the ball back, and gets it back, nice little one-two there with Pilkinson. Now Fitzpatrick brings it into the middle. Now here's Burgess. Hodgkiss comes up from the right back position, bringing the ball forward. Roll into the middle to Whitaker, back into Hodgkiss, who's made a great run, gets a shot on goal and puts it into the back of the net to put the Bluebirds one down here. Yeah, good bit of football there from Macclesfield. We've got to give him a bit of credit there. They, they moved the ball around really well and uh, we were kind of watching the shadows, weren't we, a little bit there, and the ball got into the box and uh, he took his chance very, very well. So, um, you know, we, we've, we've started OK, we've, we've battled. Um, Unfortunately, now we, you know, we're going to have to now you know, come out a little bit and, and try and carve out some chances. That's certainly not what Barrow wanted, but a brilliant run from Jared Hodgkiss on the right-hand side, played the 1-2, got the ball, ball back ball inside ball the Barrow area, two, and the Bluebirds finding themselves 1-0 down here and after 28 minutes here at Holker Street. Still 1-0 the scoreline. Yeah, forward it goes, Byron Harrison gets it under control, corner of the penalty area. Flicks it back to Tony Dian, who sends a good ball into the box. Asa Hall gets up with a header. Couldn't quite direct it goalwards, though. It's out of play and it will be a goal kick. Headed clear, Bresso does very well. Gets the ball back here for Barrow. Now Youssef, Ben Senti Gomez, turns his man well. Now Clements, on to Liam Hughes. Hughes sends the ball forward, Youssef heads it across. Now here's Bignot on this right-hand side here for Barrow. Paul Bignot bringing it forward. Back it goes to Hughes. Hughes sends it into the area. Youssef gets it under control. Does well against Pilkinson. Shot by Youssef. 
turned round the box by Jalau, and it will be a corner to Barrow. Yeah, much better from Barrow. This much better. I was saying just earlier, our midfielders need to support our forward players, and it's exactly what they did there. The players, our forwards, are bringing the ball down and bringing the midfielders into the game. And uh, Yusuf had a couple of stabs at it there. And again, every opportunity in the box, he's looking to shoot, yeah. isn't he? Sprinting forward over on that left-hand side is Danny Whitehead. Good ball across. Now Elliot Jurell, corner of the Barrow penalty area, swings it into the area towards a back post. Still not fully clear though. Macclesfield in possession into the box it goes. Still not clear as Burgess gets a shot on. In the end, it's wide and it will be a goal kick. Well, that's off it for Barrow. Here come Macclesfield once again though. Elliot Jurell dribbling it into the area. Gets a shot away. Jurell curls it into the top corner of the goal. It is a fantastic finish from the Macclesfield man, but it's not what Barrow wanted to see because with 15 minutes played in the second half, it's now 2-0. And it's, it's exactly what uh, Macclesfield deserve, unfortunately. They've, uh, they've, they've, they've punished us, haven't they? Because we've just been not good enough. And uh, Jarrell there um, did really, really well. And, and that's the difference between us and Macclesfield today, is that you know, they're, they're clinical in, in, the, in the right area and uh, turned his man and, and a great finish. Left foot bang into the corner of the net. And uh, we're up against it now, as I said earlier. If we can see it another... 2-0 the scoreline. 20 minutes played in this second half. Corner. Into the box it goes, header away there by Hughes. Back in by Burgess, once again Barrow managed to get the ball clear. Not very far though as Whitaker plays it back out wide. Jurel, scorer of the second goal, has another shot, parried by Moore. Another shot blocked this time. Still not clear as Whitehead swings the ball into the area. Substitution is made. Chris Clements makes way. Grant Holt, 14 years after the last time he played for the Bluebirds, is on for Barrow. Looks like they've gone to three up front here. Holt has gone in in the middle. It's throw into Barrow. Hughes launches a long throw into the area. Head on goal by Tony Dean over the bar. Goal kick. Yeah, good, good run that from Dian, he, he drew his man and he, he got a good connection on the ball, but unfortunately it was just over the bar, but uh, as I was saying, this is a lot better from Barrow, I don't know whether it's because Macclesfield have, have dropped a little bit, they're playing almost with five and four. Now Barres, nice little cushion pass into Gomez, Ben to Gomez, the only player really that's trying to do something at the minute for Barrow. White onto Grant Holt, Holt in the area, Baron Harrison goes for the ball, but taken superbly by Shawan Jalal in the Macclesfield goal. Very frustrating afternoon, a lot of effort. You know, you can't knock the lads for that, it's committed. We've just come up against a better side and they've, they've done a job on us, unfortunately, and uh, you know, it's, um, it's just not been our day. The ball was cleared away by the goalkeeper as the final whistle goes here at Holker Street. There's no coincidence that Macclesfield have been up at the top of the table since the start of the season. They're a lot better than they, they, I've seen them in the past. They're well drilled, very, very fit, very strong, move the ball well, work for one another. But what they did in that second half particularly is they, they pushed and pushed and pushed till they got that second goal and then they made it very, very tough for Barrow. And we had a lot of possession in that last half an hour, you know, without really hurting Macclesfield at all. And you've got to give them some credit because... Final score at the Furnace Building Stadium, and now it's finished. Barrow nil, Macclesfield two.